What is your name? Gail Tempest. What is your occupation? I'm a dancer. On the night of February the 13th, were you working at the Black Bottom Cafe when this murder was committed? Yes, but I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robin? I don't know. Didn't you kill Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. And ask that the last question be stricken from the records. It is merely an attempt to influence this intelligent, broad-minded, and most intellectual jury. Objection sustained. Thank you, Your Honor. That is all. Quiet, Polly. If it please the court, Your Honor, at this time, I would like to introduce my three main witnesses, Howard, Fine, and Howard. <clears throat> they were here a minute ago. Will you pardon me, Your Honor? I'll be right back. What's the idea of spoiling the game? I was for onesies. Well, here's twosies. Oh, oh, he was a onesie? You get him to... Uh, here's uh, fivesies. Oh. Gentlemen, gentlemen, don't you realize Miss Gail Tempest's life is at stake? Oh, uh, Gail, uh, what? Out of the way. <laughs> Gentlemen, please try to be a little more quiet in the court. Certainly, Judgey, the gate is locked. Will you please step forward? No, no, no. Prepare yourself for the witness box. Take off your hat. Now raise your right hand. Now place your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Will you get rid of that hat? Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Are you trying to give me the double talk? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? He's talking big Latin. I don't know what he's saying. He's asking you if you swear. No, but I know all the words. He's asking you if you'll swear to tell the truth. Truth is stranger than fiction, Judgey Wudgey. <laughs> Kindly address this court as your honor and take the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and the truth? Certainly. What have I got to lose? Take the stand. Where did I put it? No, no. Take the stand. I got it. Now what will I do with it? Clancy's poor room. Sit down. I'm a victim of circumstance. Uh, who are you hitting? Oh, you're gone. <laughs> Be quiet. Proceed with the case. Were you in the Black Bottom Cafe on the night of February the 13th? Certainly. Did you at that time see the defendant, Miss Gail Tempest, in any way, shape, or form, commit or try to commit bodily harm to the deceased Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. Counsel is trying to lead the witness. 
Objection sustained. Mr. Howard, did you see Miss Gail Tempest in physical fight with Kirk Robin? If it pleases the court, may I suggest that counsel be instructed to allow the witness to testify to what he saw. I say, Jasper, uh, what comes after 75? 76. That's the spirit. <laughs> Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. Well, it was like this, Mr. Court. Address the judge as your honor. Well, it was like this, my honor. Your honor, not my honor. Why? Don't you like him? Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thanks, Court. You're a pal. Well, me and my pals, we're musicians. We were tearing up some hot swing music in the orchestra. Gail over there was swinging the fans. Her sweetie, Kirk Robin, was inhaling a bottle of hooch at a table. And a hoofer by the name of Buck Wing was getting ready to shake his tootsies. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a doiby. Drop the vernacular. No, no, not that. Talk so the jury can understand. Is everybody dumb? Say, Judgy, if you let me, my partner, and Gailey kind of act it out for you, we'll show you just what happened. If counsel doesn't object, that's an excellent idea. No objections. No objections. No objections. <laughs> okay, Gailey. Kid. Gentlemen, you must control your killing instincts. Proceed with the testimony, please. Proceed. and continue. Now, Gailey's dance was over. I stuck my head in the office door, and I saw Craig Robin and Buck Wing arguing over by the parrot cage. What were they arguing about? I don't know, but Buck Wing was sizzling like a hot hamburger. He grabs Kirk by the neck like that, <laughs> see? And drags him over to the letter press, <laughs> see? <laughs> then he smacks him on the head like that. <laughs> then he pokes his coconut into the letter press, see, like that. 
Then he says, I'll squeeze the cider out of your Adam's apple. Then he gives him the works like this. And he keeps turning and twisting. That, ladies and gentlemen, is... What's the matter? You want to kill me? Why is preposterous? When the police broke into the office, they found this woman, a defendant, Gail Tenkus, bending over the body of a murdered man with a revolver clutching in her hand. Which only goes to prove that my client is innocent. Innocent? Exactly, and I'll prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, the action of this pistol is so hard, it would take the strength of a mule to pull the trigger. Try it. I'm no mule. No, your ears are too short. Mm. Mm. So I'm a mule. Pull the trigger. Never fear, it's not loaded. <laughs> How could Gail Tempest's frail little finger pull the rusty trigger of that instrument of destruction? See, there was nothing in it. Broad Lane, 9972, after 5 o'clock. What'd you do with my boat in the air? Give me that gun. What happened? Don't point that gun at me. <laughs> Every man for himself, fellas. Ah, uh, there you are, boss. You was called to be a witness, wasn't you? Certainly. So was you. What are you butting in for? Uh, You're supposed to be a good one, ain't you? Well, ain't I? Now, what are you disturbing the court for? <laughs> Get gone. <laughs> Stop chewing that gum. Frightening. Will you throw that gum away? Look, I got rid of it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold still. I'll get it. Ow! Ow, my nose! Hey, you're in a court, not in the woods, Tarzan. Cut it out. Come on. Order in this court. What does this parrot mean by find the letter? There's a whole pile of letters there. Must be here. Look, there's a note tied to the parrot's foot. Come on, Polly, 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 Polly. Come on, Polly, Polly, Polly. Come on, Polly, Polly, Polly. Come on. Ouch! Look out, here we come. Get that parrot. Get him. Oh, my Stradivarius! Oh, my beautiful Stradivarius! Grab your ear. Come on. Oh. How do we get him now? Let's get some salt and put it on his tail. That's no way to get a parrot. You gotta wet his feather so he can't fly. Oh, don't do nothing until you hear from me. Come on. Give me a hand. Wait a minute. Hold it. What do you mean? I object, Your Honor. These proceedings, this courtroom. Ooh. What's the idea?
Admiral Bow and Arrow. Don't try to find me as I'm shuffling off the buffalo. Signed, Buck Wayne. Oh, hooray! 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 Hooray!